What's going on guys? Just here at Goodwill right now. One of the things that's really important when you go to Goodwill is you don't want to waste your time. So I always start in like the textbook looking sections. Any kind of bigger books are normally good. Um, I was about to tell you guys never to scan the cookbook section, but I just scanned my first book and check this out. It's going for 30 on here, but the lowest FBA is like 60. So it's, it's a good profit book. Anyway, um, let me get this camera back up open. Okay, so any books that look like this, any short fiction, uh, mass, I don't even know what they call them, mass produce fiction, don't scan those, they're dirt. Um, children's section, normally a mess. I normally skip it. Uh, my, my philosophy is that if you can scan more uh, books and then bounce to a different thrift shop or Goodwill or library, that's more worth your time. However, I will say, if you do scan the children's books, don't scan these looking books. Any books that look like, I don't know, like regular uh, sized books. The long skinny ones and the hardbacks, these are the good ones to scan. You'll find $20, $30 profit books every once in a while in there. Um, so what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna open up Scott IQ because if you come in, if you're using the Amazon seller app in one of these stores, you're wasting your damn time, I'm sorry. Like you are gonna quit the day that you start. So, uh, and one more thing before I show you guys the app. What I want you to do when you scan, let's see. I'll, uh, see if I can open this up. When you scan, you're not gonna, you're wasting your time if you take the book out and you scan it, and you put it back on the shelf, you're wasting your time. You like straight up, like it's gonna take you forever. And the way to do it is come in, boom, boom. So if you guys look, I'm pulling it out far enough, just to see the barcode, I'm scanning it, putting it back. Pull it out just far enough to see the barcode, scan it, and put it back. And this is literally how fast I scan. I go boom, 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 boom. Like, I'll show you guys real quick. Open up the app, and I'm gonna scan the religion section. That's normally pretty good, for, for me at least, I've had good experience um i just think it's a waste of time to scan even like the hardback because in tennessee the hardbacks are three dollars a piece so even scanning the hardback uh fiction really not worth it you might find a twenty dollar book so like five dollars profit or something but i'd rather get more bang for my buck okay i'm gonna scan the religion section real quick i may speed this up but i'm just gonna show you guys how many rejects you're gonna go through the name of the game is getting through books as fast as possible so you can find the go where the hell is the religion section where the hell is the religious section? here it is all right here we go so i normally put the phone down on the shelf right now the phone's on the shelf and let's get started Realistically, if we look at this book, Low Merchants 9, it's got a pretty crappy sales rank. So I'm looking at $3 profit, worst case scenario. It's a dollar for the book. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. I'll probably price it. I'll look at the sales history to see if it ever sold for that much. Now, when we're looking at these, you got to remember that uh, it's only ever going to show the lowest price. So if someone bought it FBA 39, we're not necessarily going to know, but let's look over the course of a year, how this book did. Okay. See, there's a price jump, huge price jump to 595. It looks huge on the graph. 595 is not that much. Um, selling a lot in May. Um, yeah, I'll buy this book. I'm not going to price it at 39.99. I'm probably going to price it at like 15 bucks because the low price is $9, too much of a gap. Maybe like 19.99, but for this high of a sales rank, it's not worth it. 
but I'm gonna buy it. Keep going. It costs three dollars for this book because it's a hardcover. Not gonna buy it. to go the sales rank so high or so low on this one it's selling over 150 times in the course of 180 days um, so I know I can probably actually get this buy box price of 20 even though the Amazon selling it for 15 I can probably still sell it 20 that's that's Amazon for you the weird stuff happens like that people go in pilot mode and they go they go on Amazon and they buy uh, they, they automatically select only buying used and sometimes the used price is more expensive than the new but just because so many people are doing that like literally that book's being bought probably i don't know a lot like multiple times a day so someone's going to make the mistake and uh buy it buy it used for a higher price That's it for the religious section. So doing all right. Um, one more thing I do, a little side note, is anything, any of these books that 
don't have a barcode or maybe the barcode's covered up by a sticker if i get a gut feeling about the book and i think it's a good book what i'm going to do and see i get I, I had a gut feeling about this book because it had a previous it's been sold on amazon before so it may be good most of the time i'm wrong but it's worth giving it a check so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stop scanning and open this app just to do this on the side i'm gonna make a pile of these books and sometimes they make a pile that is uh in this case is a bad book sometimes i make a pile that's like a couple feet high and i'll come back and i'll just knock them out just like this put them back on the shelf most of the time i'm wrong in this case i am wrong and let's move on So I'm not doing bad today. I mean, if you just look in here, I got a couple hard covers. This is the, I was like, I'm not gonna scan the cookbook section and I went and scanned it. $60 profit book right here. So um, yeah, uh, it's just it's just a numbers game. You know, you gotta get through them as uh, fast as possible. And one more thing is going to Goodwill is like in remote areas. I've had a lot of success doing that, especially remote areas that are wealthy. You'll do really well in those areas. Um, so. Sometimes it's worth the extra gas. I, I made my money back in gas off this one book right here. Another $45 profit book down in there. Did, I did decent today. So um, I'm in up two more Goodwills. One's about 45 minutes south of me and then the other's an hour north east of there. So traveling, peace out guys.